Good morning, welcome to Morning Outlook. This is Kim speaking on Tuesday the 30th of January. So looking at the euro dollar first and well, it's uh, almost bounced off its uh, daily eight here. Now really I'm just waiting to see what the uh, what it does from this point. If it starts breaking through, well I'm looking back towards the uh, monthly R2 pivot, the t uh, 21 moving average as a potential target at some point. It's... Uh, consolidating again where it's sitting it did this yesterday for quite a phase actually if I bring it down to the 60 minute you can see that large consolidation phase that we sat through now it may do similar we'll see but uh, uh, at the moment it's uh, well just uh, short short term having this uh, bounce here if it can start breaking through the 21s get back above the daily pivot that 34 moving average maybe I'll be uh, a little bit more bullish but at the moment erring on the bearish side with the lower highs lower lows not an obvious trade to get into at the moment though so uh, that's where we are with the euro with um, cable cable seems a little bit softer this morning we've already broken through some key moving averages I'm looking through uh, the, we've got we're just breaking through the daily eight at the moment and uh, again Similar principle of uh, this already maybe a little bit more advanced, um, already broken through its four alley fifties. Well, maybe uh, we could be uh, having that sort of, uh, or sh the signal is uh, more clearer uh, to the downside. However, we've just uh, come into support into the R uh, S1 there. Maybe a, a sell point into the uh, sixty twenty ones would be a, a more ideal entry. Uh, from this time frame we'll uh, watch this carefully this morning but certainly the trend at the moment seems to be erring towards the downside there for now euro dollar uh, sorry dolly yen even <laughs> um, let's just uh, here we go so dolly yen again an, an, another pair consolidating a little bit here it uh, had a decent sort of move up yesterday came short of its uh, uh, weekly pivot which I thought it might have rolled onto at one stage it looked like it was uh, shoving up towards that but uh, short of that weekly pivot and then now sold off again now um, it seems a little bit uh, opposite to what we're seeing with the euro and the pound in terms of it's, uh, it's looking uh, possibly erring a little bit stronger at the moment but to get as I say it's quite consolidated a move back above the uh, daily pivots uh, would probably make me uh, a bit more bullish maybe back towards that uh, looking at that weekly pivot um, alternatively if it just carries on I mean I, I drew a trend line on it yesterday which it broke and didn't really go too far it was chopping it was quite late on as it really pushed through that um, I just would have to watch again to see if it just rolls over my preference really if we're seeing the pound and the euro sell off is uh, for the upside now obvious upside targets would be back to those prior highs uh, initially but uh, really looking towards that uh, weekly pivot if it does get a move upwards let's look at the Aussie dollar Aussie dollar has been a, in, a, in a decent solid run um, it's barely barely had much deviation from the movement we've seen um, at the moment it may just be cracking a little bit we may just see a bit more of a retracement we've, we've seen a lower high come in here I guess we've seen those sort of patterns before but it is uh, it has benefited uh, from the price of commodities the weaker dollar more significant than some um, at the moment well it, as I say it's selling off strongly and maybe a uh, from an intermediate point of view um, uh, any movement back to the 6021s um, may provide uh, opportunities to sell and finally then let's have a look at the Canadian dollar it's one I've been steering clear of lately um, the uh, intraday bars uh, basically uh, we're seeing lots of consolidation here and uh, it's well it's just pitching up a little bit at the moment softening um, uh, looking a tad softer as I say pushed back above its weekly pivot it didn't quite get up there yesterday it must have been at one stage I thought that would uh, easily run up there but we're seeing these long periods through our trading sessions of just chop I mean day after day 
Um, it needs to get back in the trend. It may be the beginning of it, but uh, at the moment I'm standing uh, standing away from the CAD Canadian dollar. Okay, that's pretty much it. Just news-wise today, uh, just as, uh, sort of, we've got the German uh, CPI inflation data, which comes out uh, in the first or up to about midday. Uh, there's six states to report. Uh, we will see those released uh, through this morning. Can create a bit of volatility with the uh, euro. Um, the we've got Flanish, uh, Flanish, Spanish GDP at eight o'clock. Again, we may get a little bit of volatility around that, but uh, I don't expect too much as the uh, German and French data is uh, so much more um, important in terms of the uh, for the euro. Um, and finally, really, um, we, at 3.30, we've got the Bank of England Governor Carney speaking. Now, this uh, he's uh, testifying be before the House of Lords. Um, I think uh, with the questions that are being question uh, asked there, um, we will see we may get some volatility, certainly at around about 3.30. Um, okay, that's it for me. Have a great one. Bye for now. Mm -hmm.